Um, this was last week's Economist. Uh, it talks about how science goes wrong. Uh, and it starts with a simple idea underpins science. So we trust, but we verify. And they go on to conclude that the, one of the issues with researchers today is that we trust too much in our data and we don't verify enough of our data. So the Australian government spends about $6 billion a year in funding institutional research. And with funding agencies now mandating how we collect and manage data, uh, the verification and collection of data is, is forefront of researchers' minds. So at Re Instrument Works, our goal is to help researchers become better data collectors. And we think you do that by connecting more devices. Okay, so we want to help build the Internet of Things for laboratories. And we started that by looking at portable instruments. And these are the types of devices that I'm talking about. And so these are characterized by two things. The first is a probe. Now, the probe takes the measurement, and the other part, the device, uh, reports that measurement. So we think there are basically four real problems with the way these devices are used currently. The first one is the parameters that they measure. Everything's uh, created for a specific purpose. So they only measure one or two parameters. But in experiments, you're measuring a lot more than that. So what happens is you end up carrying around three or four of these devices at a time. The next is, is data capacity. So if you want to collect the data, if these devices enable it, uh, they limit how much you can collect. Uh, and then when you want to get it out of the instrument, um, connectivity becomes a problem. Because they have all these legacy ports, uh, often proprietary software. The most common way of getting data out of these devices is handwriting it into a notebook and then typing it back into your computer. Um, which is kind of silly this day and age, isn't it? Um, and that brings us to the last problem, um, which is context. Now, the data value that we get is important, but it's only important in as far as we can verify it. And it, to verify it, we need to know the context in which that data point was collected. So who collected it? When they collected it? Where were they when they collected it? Was the device calibrated? How was it calibrated? And these devices just don't collect enough of that information at the moment. So how do you fix this? Well, we think you give researchers something they already have, and that's a smartphone. Um, so Bill Barty mentioned this morning that, he, that smartphones were fast becoming the remotes of our lives. Well, we think they should be the remotes of your laboratory. Um, they should be the center of your data collection activities. Um, and with Bluetooth 4, you now have a really easy way of connecting probes to this device. <coughs> so what we've done is we've, we're in the process of building a number of probes and we're building Bluetooth 4 right into the probe. Okay, so this allows a really easy way for us to connect uh, our probes to our app. Okay, and from there you can c connect multiple different instruments or multiple instruments that all collect the same numbers. Um, there's no limits on the capacity. Uh, with wireless connectivity you can then um, sync to the cloud, put it in your Dropbox, email your data. Um, and the good thing about it is we collect all the context. So we know attached to every data point is everything about the probe, about how it's been used, uh, when it's been calibrated, where you are when you took that data point. Um, and that's going to enable researchers to be able to verify their data a lot better. So the benefits <coughs> of our system uh, over the existing systems that we have out there um, is that this is a, a single digital solution for collecting data. Um, we think it's really important that researchers are able to collect as much information as they can all in one place. Um, it's a really simple and intuitive user interface. So um, we're all familiar with how smartphones work, how the interface uh, operates. And, and so it's really quick and easy for you to uh, pick up one of these devices and learn how to use the instrument. Um, with all this contextual information that we're collecting, um, <coughs> the, the data becomes more reliable and more accurate. Uh, and lastly, because we were able to get rid of the devices that people have traditionally used, uh, which is by far the most costly part of the process, uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot cheaper. Um, and so we're really early days and we've just got a few um, prototypes out, but um, we're already seeing those benefits that we think are there being validated by our users. Um, and I guess the last thing I want to talk about um, is, is why we're here and essentially um, we've only been going about 12 months and we're really looking to build out our team at the moment um, and specifically we're looking for software people uh, to help build our, our back-end instrument management platform. 
Um, but while I'm here, I should thank the guys at Alex Group who've helped us build our pros. Thank you.